Hello, and welcome to this two-minute tutorial on your navigation bar management. Topics covered will be navigation bar explained and sections, changing views, editing views and applying to athletes, adding dashboards, adding charts, and some tips and tricks. All right, the easiest way to do this demo is to jump right into the program. So here we have WKO5 open and ready to go. In previous uh, videos, I've covered the hero bar management. Now we're talking about the navigation bar, which is this dark gray bar that includes all of your dashboards. First off, let's talk about this by sections. Here we have your workout and segment sections. You notice that those will highlight if you hover over them. If I click on one, either of those will launch your left-hand explorer and give you your workout list and your segment list. You can simply turn them off by clicking on them and toggling it off. Here you have a calendar bar. When you click calendar, you get this calendar. At times, the fact that it's only a select calendar confuses people. Remember, it is controlled by your left, or sorry, by your right-hand controller. Um, so whatever time range you select here will show. And then finally, from this gray bar over is your user controlled navigation bar that reflects the view that you have selected. You can see the view name here on top of the hero bar. You can select any dashboard by simply clicking on the dashboard there. Um, once you have dashboards or your view open and you can na navigate through some of your dashboards, you can use your different ones or select simply by clicking on. But let's say you wanted to add and change this view. So remember, and this is important to understand, you're in the WKO5. I have selected the WKO5 Advanced Cycling View. And all athletes, if I have 10 different athletes using the WKO5 Advanced Cycling View, any change I make here will be a change to all of those athletes. Let's say I wanted to add a new dashboard, right? I could click the down arrow on the right of the um, navigation bar. I can either create a new dashboard or I can add. I'm just gonna add to demo it. So I'm gonna add an existing dashboard. This gives me options here. I can choose all dashboards, dashboard library, dashboard history, or all of my current dashboards to look in. I'm sorry, all of my current views to look in. But I'm just gonna use all dashboards. So I'm looking for all different dashboards. You will see repeats in here. That's because you've edited. When you edit the chart, it saves a copy. We need to get a more elegant way to handle this in the future, but we just don't want to delete any of your changes so it's in there. So let's say I wanted to add a chart on um, cyclocross. So I type CX and there is a profile review. If I want to add that dashboard, I'm sorry, I said a chart. I just need to double click on it. You now see it's showing up in my dashboard and it will be uh, part of the WKO5 Advanced Cycling View, meaning all athletes that have that view will now have that dashboard. If I wanted to remove a dashboard, I click on the right uh, hand down arrow there, I go to remove this dashboard and I delete. You don't take it out of your history, you just delete it out of the nav bar. Now all athletes that were sharing WKO5 Advanced Cycling View no longer have that dashboard. What if I wanted to add a chart to a dashboard? If you just highlight over the dashboard, you can select it. I use a whiteboard. I use my whiteboard all the time so that I don't mess up my other dashboards until I'm ready to change. You click the small down arrow, I can add an existing chart, and we launch the chart library for the same reality. I, if I want the library, all the original charts, I can choose chart library, or I can choose the chart history, everything I saved. You can also just choose all charts and you'll get everything with all charts. So let's just say I search MMP. So I get all kinds of different MMPs, right? So I'll just take 30 minute, 30 day, one minute MMP. I double click it, chart appears here, and I can adjust chart size, which I'll cover in another video. Now, remember, for all athletes with the WKO5 Advanced Cycling View, they now have this same MMP chart in their whiteboard. When you edit one view, all athletes sharing that view will have the update. Finally, I wanna show you how to change views. Let's say I wanna to go to a different view. Again, click the right-hand um, side of the navigation bar, the down arrow. 
I'm going to choose an existing view. I can create a new view also and just build one from scratch, you know, name it and do what you want, but I'm going to choose an existing view. I want to make sure I'm using an original view, so I'm going to go to the view library. These, the view library are the WKO5 user control. This is the WKO team making sure these are your masters, right? The originals might be a better way to say it. And I'm just going to put the basic indoor view here. I click on it twice. Ask me if I didn't want to override it because I've already edited one copy of this. I could say no, or if I wanted to keep my changes, I would say copy and then rename it. I'm just going to override it for an example right now. And you notice now I have WKO5 basic indoor view here. Um, you have some data calculating and I have new dashboard data and information all going on here, building up my charts and reports. This new view, any edits I make now, any athlete sharing WKO5 basic indoor view would get the same changes. Hopefully that helps you understand and navigate your navigation bar. Thanks for using WKO.